my name is Sydney and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, you are watching this on New Year's Day. Happy 2023, everyone. And so fittingly, of course, I'm going to talk about my New Year's resolutions. Okay, let's just get something out of the way. I know that New Year's resolutions are either like make or break for people or they're silly or they don't really matter. Some people don't even make them. I'm definitely a goal setter. I'm an overachiever and I feel like setting New Year's resolutions helps me have a better mindset going into a new year and this year I need it. 2022 was my year. I had a bridal shower. I saw Dua Lipa in concert. I had my bachelorette. I got married. I went on two honeymoons. I graduated from college. I was the president of my dance team and we put on our first showcase since pre-COVID. And we got a Taylor Swift album. Like, are you kidding? There were so many good things that happened in 2022 that I'm starting to worry that 2023 is going to be an off year. And so to avoid that premonition, I made a bunch of New Year's resolutions and I would like to share them with you now. <laughs> All right, so I have them divided up into four different categories. And that is basic goals, literary goals, writing goals, and shooting star goals. So let's start with the basic goals. Basic goals, my number one basic goal is to be a little bit quieter on social media. Obviously, I wanna keep YouTube up. It's a creative outlet and it's definitely becoming a passion for me, but I will say that Instagram wise, I spend a little too much time on Instagram. And I think that when I spend time on there, I feel like I have to post stuff, whether it's on my feed or on my story. Um, and I just wanna take a step back and not allow myself to find validation in Instagram. Um, I love making my Instagram either look aesthetic or look like a scrapbook. I love the stylistic elements of Instagram specifically, so maybe taking a step back from that platform would be a good thing for me. My second thing is I would love to either blog or journal. I do have a website that I'm launching, mainly just because when you become an author, it's kind of important that you have a website. Um, and so I've been working on that and there's options on the website that I'm building where I can insert a blog. And I was like, oh, that'd be fun to write a blog or just, you know, virtually journal or, you know, physically journal. I used to journal all the time. Doing one of those I think would be really important just to like help process emotion, obviously. <laughs> and then my last basic goal is to put more effort into how I look when I go places. That also applies to YouTube videos. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing a little bit of makeup, not a lot, but just putting some kind of effort into the way that I look because I'm not vain. I don't really take pride in looking like some model when I leave the house. That's really never been a priority for me, but lately I've been looking back at pictures of myself where I'm in, I don't want to say the prime of my life because the prime of your life is like your late 20s your 30s but i'm in such a young pretty point of my life and i just like didn't take care of myself i'm usually like i will sacrifice my appearance for comfort so just being able to at least put on like concealer mascara lipstick something just some semblance of you look put together um, and that also includes my hair i have a lot of hair and so i usually just brush it out and leave it maybe trying some styles, I don't know. Just taking a little bit more initiative and looking like I've been awake for three extra hours instead of I woke up 30 minutes ago. <laughs> so those are my basic goals. Now let's go on to literary goals. My, I don't wanna say my number one, but the first one on here is I want to find a new series to binge. I have not binged a full series in like, oh, like straight through like all the books were available to me since I was a seventh grader and that was the selection. I binged what I could of Throne of Glass and A Court of Thorns and Roses, but Aqua War wasn't out yet when I binged, you know, the first two. And then in Throne of Glass, I had binged everything up until Queen of Shadows. And then I had to wait for Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ash. So finding like a new series from start to finish to binge, or at least like binge what I can of a series if there's one out, I would love to do that. Currently on my TBR, I have 
Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber because the last book that I'm reading of this year is Finale, which I think is a perfect ending. <laughs> but I really want to find something that gets me excited again. Number two, I want to read all of the books that I got for Christmas by the end of April. And I think that there are eight books. So if that's the end of month four of the year, that means I need to read at least two books a month. Doesn't seem that difficult. Obviously a basic goal reading wise is I want to read at least one new book a month. I am not typically a rereader unless it is A Court of Mist and Fury. I will reread that until the book falls apart. <laughs> Otherwise I don't really reread anything. So I think that wouldn't be too challenging. And then I want to realistically recycle books that I won't read. I've already started a book purge good for me. And then I want to make more book content on YouTube again. That's what originally started boosting my platform and it was so fun and I just loved making that stuff. It was always so fun to go the extra mile for and fun editing and it was just fun all around. So hoping to do that. I'll be making a Christmas book haul. Um, obviously since I mentioned my books that I got for Christmas, you'll be, see you'll be seeing that soon. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to writing goals. So writing wise, I want to do another round and finish Project Venus. If you're new to my channel, I did NaNoWriMo this year and I beat NaNoWriMo, hallelujah. You can watch those vlogs on my channel. And it was just so fun to explore these new cast of characters and this new genre, new age range. It was just the best. But ever since NaNoWriMo happened, I had to, you know, pause on production of it because I was in my last semester of college. I had finals. I was graduating. I was looking for a job. It, it was a whole mess. I'm working back on it this year and I'm so excited to revisit those characters. They are just a blast. <laughs> kind of a fun goal that I don't know if I'll accomplish but I'd love to try is um, since I've graduated some of my friends are now long distance and I love writing. I love sending letters. I really want to start sending snail mail to my long distance friends and will I keep up with that? I don't know but just I used to love being pen pals with people when I was young so I think that'd be something fun to start up again. And then my last writing goal is to start writing poetry. That's a unique one of course because I'm not a poetry gal but um, my last semester of college this past term I took a poetry writing class and it was funny because I used to think poetry was uptight and poetry had no rules, but poetry is not uptight, but poetry also has several rules with crafting it. And I kind of liked working within like the confined prompts and the rules that came with like different forms. And I want to give it a try. Do I want to write a poetry collection in the future? Yes, because going through Barnes and Noble and reading the poetry collections a lot, there's a lot of different style of poetry um, and I just think it'd be fun to write one. Will I be able to do it this year? Probably not but I just want to start writing poems when I feel like it. And now we've made it to the big kahunas, the shooting star goals. Spoiler alert on my life if I manage to make them happen but here we go. These are like my biggest if I complete them I would cry. Tears of joy, of course. My number one goal for this year, period, point blank, I want to get a literary agent this year. I have been in the querying trenches, not as long as most people, but still for a long time. I have queried off and on for probably the last three years. And I am young. I am a younger writer. But this year I discovered an author who marketed herself on TikTok. Her name is Alex Astor, and if you don't know her name right now, you will soon because she got a seven figure movie deal for her book that she released, but it hadn't been out into the world yet. Warner Brothers read her book before it released and signed a movie deal for her um, after 16 publishers did not pick her book up. She is my sheer motivation along with a couple other people, but also, me, myself, and I. I have been wanting to publish traditionally for years. I have self-published a memoir, obviously, but I am a fiction writer at heart and I want to traditionally publish my books so that the most amount of eyes can read them and pray for my soul because I'm resuming querying again on January 2nd at 10 a.m. <laughs> 
The rest of the goals for my shooting star section are I want to find love for working out again. Now hear me out. Fitness goals for New Year's resolutions are the ones that always go in the canner every time. But this is unique because I'm not specifically saying I want to lose weight, I want to work out this many times a week, I want to be down to this weight by next December, no. I just want to find the enjoyment in working out. I used to go to cycle bar all the time, but since I got married and I moved, I'm not close to one. So I really liked biking, but I live in an apartment on the third floor. We can't fit a Peloton bike in this apartment and it's too heavy to carry up. It's just, it's not working out for us. So I need to find another way that I enjoy working out because ever since my dance team ended and I finished college, I've stopped and working out helps regulate my emotions and my hormones. So I need to figure out something to do. I want to learn to cook more foods. My friends joke about the fact that I can only cook salmon and tacos, which those seem like pretty impressive things that I can cook, but whatever. I can also cook a mean waffle and some breakfast stuff, but I really want to get more into all the kitchen appliances that we got for our wedding and I want to figure out how to use them and I want to figure out how to be freaking master chef like Gordon Ramsay. Next up, I want to land a day job. I currently work two part-time gigs and one of them's commission and not regular. The other one I love so much and it's what I want to do, but right now the only stage it can really be in is part-time. Me and my husband need more financial support. So I want to land a day job. I'm applying to a lot of copywriting positions um, because I love English, even though I got a degree in media, ha ha ha. I'm having a little bit of imposter syndrome about the jobs I apply for, but we're giving it a go and I really hope that the Lord has some kind of full-time job laid out for me. Or if I get a literary agent and I'm drafting, that would be a great full-time gig. Does it pay full-time? No. But will it employ me full-time? As in like, I'll always be drafting and sending edits? Yes. I would gladly accept that too, God. <laughs> Shooting star goals, I want to do weekly or bi-weekly videos on YouTube. Now that I'm not in college, I have spare time and I love editing, so that would be awesome. And last but certainly not least, I want to draft another memoir. I know I just said that I am a fiction writer, but I also took a nonfiction class alongside poetry this past semester, and having already self-published a memoir, I realized that that was a lot of fun. Self-publishing and creating a book all on my own was very challenging, of course, but it was really rewarding and that kind of writing was very cathartic, but it was written for a reason besides catharsis. I want to write another nonfiction book and I want it to be more, I don't want to say motivational because that sounds a little corny, but I really want this book to land with more people. And I already have a title in mind. I don't know if it's going to be the final one, but I think that besides Project Venus, I think that this book is also going to get some of my attention. So fingers crossed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Thanks for sticking around. And I hope your 2022 was awesome. I know for me, it was probably my best year on planet earth. Um, and sometimes that makes me very nervous for what next year is gonna be like, because realistically, it's probably not gonna top it unless I get an agent or a book deal or something. Then it would top it for me because that's like my life's goal. But take care of yourselves. Way to get through 2022. I hope that 2023 has so many blessings in store for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.